so in our today's session we'll cover up the chin part along with the jaw lines and the mouth part remaining i will use my hb pencil with me for my rendering purpose and as you observe that there is a dark line present here here are the dark lines and this is the shadow region and this is a little bit of light tone and we'll work on this as per our convenience we will choose the pencil i have chosen my hb pencil with me so i'll first mark out and work out on this area but uh, before working on this area it is essential for me to get the marking of these jaw lines and it is uh, <coughs> to get this jaw lines i have no reference here so i'll have to take the reference of this dark line so i am taking this neckline as a reference for it and i am working on it and instead of hb i am using my 6b pencil for the neck darkness of the neck if observe keenly we have to follow this shape this type of line there are two parallel lines with letter 11 or letter h or letter pi so i write that letter and this line is just below this part of the clips the bending part is here and my guess was correct this is the pi shape or a v shape in this manner there is a v shape so we'll just follow this letter v there is also a parallel line here slightly light tone even here is a small triangle observed keenly you will notice and i have sufficiently got the darker tones here so that i can first the proceed to the chin region this is the dark part with a slight difference between these two lines there is a light part here and dark part here so we will do that Thank you. 
locate this end of the uh, neck line we have to smoothly blend this line up to the ears and making it finish The rest of the part we have to cover with the HB pencil. So I am using my HB pencil to cover rest of the highlights. part so slightly very carefully And the remaining light part we have to cover with the 4H pencil or uh, any light pencil which is available for you. In this way you have to rub your pencil on the surface of paper very carefully and very delicately. So 
So even there is a light part in this area. So we'll cover it once. Now starting from the dark part. So I will use my double E pencil or any charcoal pencil you can use for dark tone. I am comfort with this pencil, so I am using frequently this kind of pencils. You may use the pencil as per your convenience. And here are some few dark shades. I recommend you to watch this video once, twice, or even thrice also to observe the shading of the neck, especially I am doing here in this part. We have to darken this part more to lift up the chin. So I'll darken up this to lift up my chin part a little bit more. even more dark part than this chin so I will darken a little bit more pencil here you see I have to do it very delicately delicate lines if done properly and with steady and patiently it gives a quite beautiful effect to the painting and if done with a hurry or with a dull mind it may even destroy the painting also so up to this point it's sufficient to work with 6b after that lowering the grade I will move towards the HP pencil to make it even more lighter smudging a little bit here and there sharpen this pencil a little more so that uh, it may penetrate to the small holes or the pores of the papers done with the face part till now we will add some more highlights and darks if necessary and I think that uh, there is a necessity of dark in this area so 
So I'm just scribbling it, making my pencils round and round and round. The lightest tone I could ever give. These parts. satisfied with this kind of work and uh, moving further towards the hair part and the jacket part we will cover that in our next session till then best of luck for your project have a nice day